calling and these hoes keep calling. Uh, all these raindrops falling out my window. What up, guys? So, I had a really busy day. Oof, camera flip. I had a really busy day at school this morning. I went to the doctors and picked up my antibiotics, which sucks. I hate taking meds. That's one thing you want to know about me. I really hate taking medication, whether it be Tylenol or Advil. Antibiotics are probably the worst. So I wasn't too happy about that, but I got to heal up. I got to get back to training. This morning I had some oatmeal, had a quick breakfast, ran to school, went to the doctor, and I'm going to hit up hit up a leg workout with my girl Emily so we're gonna hit mostly hamstring and glutes a little bit of some quads I want to fix my anterior tilt that I have on my pelvis I'm gonna make a video about that and how to fix it what to do about it but today we're gonna hit it hard my girl M is gonna join me it's gonna be a good time so let's get to the gym Let's go. So pretty much every exercise we did here, we hit for four sets, 12 to 15 reps. Over here, we started with some eccentric single leg kind of squats. I'm trying to work on my pistol squat with the recent hip injury I have. I still can't do them yet. So now I'm just working on my eccentric. We did this for about three sets of 10 to 15 reps. On the next drill, you see me, I have an elastic around my legs. That's just to make sure that my knees don't curve in or just they don't internally rotate. And I'm not going ass to grass here, just a quick warm up. So I'm going around 90. I put a powder plate on again with my hip injury. So we hit this for about four sets of 12 reps each. An easy trick, guys, if you have an issue with squats, you guys could put a box on the bottom and then squat all the way till your bum touches the box and then explode back up. On the next drill, we're doing some hip extensions, really working on squeezing them glutes and also not leaning back. You're really just trying to focus on tightening up your core when you come in with this and just squeezing your glutes together for maximum contraction. We did this for four sets, four to 12 reps. Next one, we did just some normal leg curls. Again, we did this for four sets of 15. Again, here on Emily, you can see her hip is coming up a bit, so I just told her to keep that hip down, almost as if you're thrusting forward and trying to bring in the heels to the butt. We did a few eccentric dips to, to uh, finish off the exercise, so we maxed out on the last set for 12 to 15 reps. On this one, the uh, leg extension machine was broken, so I asked her to sit on it for extra weight as I repped it out. We did three sets of 12. I put my hand for her. It was really funny. It was too funny. People were laughing. We did some walking lunges, but the gym became really busy. So we started just to do some step forward lunges. We did this, again, four sets, 12 to 15 reps. Again, on your lunges, guys, really focus on just trying to step forward and sit down. Try to make sure your knee doesn't pass your toe that much. On this next drill, basically just Romanian deadlifts, trying to sit back as much as you can, bend your knees slightly, let the bar pass just under your knee, and again, thrust forward, squeeze the glutes, squeeze your core, try not to arch your back. Just very good drill for your glutes as well as your hamstrings. I find I have very weak hamstrings after I had my injury on my hip, so I'm really trying to focus on reps rather than heavy weights what up guys back from the workout so my legs are dead and they're shaking right now i just made a meal real quick I'll show you guys right now actually let me just so we got some avocado right here i got some broccoli some sauerkraut uh, under the sauerkraut there's some red kidney beans i put about like a cup's worth i got a whole bunch of brown rice Mm, I think I put about a cup and a half of brown rice and then my mom made me some quinoa balls. They're like really good. Put some ketchup there. I'm going to down this meal. I'm going to study a bit and then pick up my dad and I'll catch you guys later. So this is the last snack of the day. I'm supposed to put the protein scoop in the shaker first and then shake it, but I screwed up. <laughs> So, put one scoop with about two cups of fruit. 
have a BCA drink and that's it for tonight. 